our topic, Illustrating Quadratic Equation. For the objectives, number one, define quadratic equation. Number two, identify the real numbers A, B, and C. Number three, write quadratic equation in standard form. For activity number one, do you remember these products? The directions, find each indicated product. Let us answer these three examples po. Let us solve the following examples. For number one, by using distributive property, multiply 3 to x squared. So 3 times x squared. The next, 3 times 7 so plus 3 times 7. So by using distributive property, ito yun. Again, 3 times x squared and then 3 times 7. Next, 3 times x squared, the answer is 3x squared plus 3 times 7, we have 21. So the answer is 3x squared plus 21. Next example, 2s times the quantity of s minus 4. Again, by using distributive property, 2s times s, we have 2s times s. And the next, 2s times negative 4, we have minus 2s times 4. Then simplify. 2s times s, we have 2s squared. The next, negative 2s times 4, we have negative 8s. So the answer is 2s squared minus 8s. Last example, the quantity of x plus 9 times the quantity of x minus 2 by using FOIL method first, outer, inner, last. So, x times x, this is the first. We have x times x followed by outer x times negative 2. We have negative. Next one, the inner. 9 times x we have 9 times x then the last 9 times negative 2 we have negative then simplify we have now x times x x squared minus 2x plus 9x minus 18. 18. Negative 9 times 2, we have 18. Then, combine like terms, we have now x squared, negative 2x plus 9x, we have 7x, sama. 7x minus 18. So the answer is x squared plus 7x minus 18. Activity number 2. Another kind of equation. Directions. Below are different equations. Use these equations to answer the questions that follow. Number one question. Which of the given equations are linear? Linear equation is mathematical sentence of degree 1 that can be written in the form ax plus b equals 0. Ibig sabihin, kapag linear equation, the highest exponent is 1. Sa mga given example, ito yung mga linear equation. We have c equals 12n minus 5, 9 minus 4x equals 15, 2s plus 3t equals negative 7, 6p, equals, 6p minus q equals 10, 3 over 4h plus 6 equals 0, 8k minus 3 equals 12. 
Bakit nga ba sila naging linear equation? Linear equation sila dahil the highest degree is 1. Question number 2. Which of the given equations are quadratic? Yung mga natitira kanina, which are x squared minus 5 plus 3 equals 0, 9R, 9R squared minus 25 equals 0, 1 up x squared plus 3x equals 8, 4m squared plus 4m plus 1 equals 0, t squared minus 70 plus 6 equals 0, r squared equals 144. Those are the quadratic equation. Bakit kaya sila, bakit kaya sila naging quadratic equation? Take a look at the highest exponent. Ano yung highest exponent na nakikita nyo? Tama. 2. Kaya sila tinawag na quadratic equation. What is quadratic equation? A quadratic equation in one variable is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 that can be written in the following standard form. ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where a and b and c are real numbers and a is not equal to 0. So, sabi dito, it is a mathematical sentence of degree 2 or the highest exponent is 2. That's why naging quadratic equation yung mga equations na to. May question dito. Why do you think a must not be equal to 0 in the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0? Simply because Kapag naging 0 si A, ang equation ay magiging linear equation. Standard form of quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Where ax squared is the quadratic term, it is the quadratic term, then bx, this is the linear term. Then, you see, this is the constant term. Quadratic term, dahil meron siyang degree na 2. Ito yun, ano? Then, linear term, because it has a degree of 1. We have imaginary 1 here, exponent is 1. Hindi lang sinusulat. Then, the constant term. Sometimes, uh, pwede siya maging whole number and fractions. And then, and then in the standard form, uh, usually, uh, kailangan naka-arrange naka yung exponent niya by descending order. Or, dapat mauuna yung mataas na exponent. O, ba? Ayan yung descending order. Ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Uh, pwede siyang maging, pwedeng wala tayong linear term. Then, ang mangyayari is ax squared plus c equals 0. This is also quadratic equation. As long as na meron siyang degree of 2. Next one, pwede rin siyang maging uh, ax squared plus bx equals 0. Wala tayo, dito naman sa equation na to, walang, walang constant. Pero sa una, wala tayong linear term. Then, pwede rin yung ganito. ax squared equals c. Yung constant nandito sa uh, after equal sign. So, etong mga to, quadratic equation din to. I have here two examples. x squared plus 10x plus 25. Then, a squared minus 16 equals 0. Let us identify the quadratic term, the linear term, the constant term, the value of a, the value of b, and the value of c. For number 1, the quadratic term, yung term na nagko-contain nagko ng degree of 2 or yung may exponent na 2. Sa term na to, x squared 10x plus 25, saan dito yung may exponent na 2? Diba itong term na to? So therefore, itong x squared, ito yung quadratic term. We have x squared. Next, 
sa linear term naman, asan dito yung uh, yung term na may degree na 1? Okay, ito yun. We have 10x. Positive 10x. Sa constant term naman, from the word constant, we have 25. What is the value of a from this uh, example? Take a look at the quadratic term. Ito na yun. Kasi diba, according to the standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Yung uh, term na may exponent na 2, yung katabi niya, that is a. So from quadratic term, we have here imaginary 1. So, the value of A is equal to 1. So, pag, uh, pag mayroong term, halimbawa, pag gaya na ito, x squared, meron siyang imaginary 1 sa unaan. Okay? Meron siyang numerical coefficient. Then, the value of B, take a look at linear term. From the standard form, we have Bx. So, yung linear, yung, the, yung B, yung katabi ni uh, variable or ni numeric ni literal coefficient na may degree na 1. So, ito yun. So, we have linear term. The value of B is equal to 10. Then, C, we have the constant, which is 25. For number 2, the quadratic term is A squared. Do we have a uh, linear term? Meron ba tayong linear term? Oh, okay, so wala. No, wala naman kasi dito yung term na may degree na 1. That's why we have none. Linear term, wala. Then, for the value of A, value ng A is 1. We have here imaginary 1. So value, then, B, the value of B, this is 0. Wala yan. Then, the value of C is negative 16. I have here an example. 1 of x squared plus 3x plus 4 equals 0. Let us write this into standard form. Kasi, uh, we have 4 cases. Sa case 1, bawal magkaroon ng fraction sa quadratic term. Okay, so, itong 1 of ito, gagawin natin siyang whole number. Uh, to eliminate 1 up, multiply both sides by 2 by using multiplication property of equality. Multiply both sides by 2. Yan. Then, 2 times uh, 1 up, x squared, the answer is x squared. Bakit? 2 times 1 up, in multiplying fraction, uh, whole in multiplying whole number to fraction, multiply numerator and numerator, denominator by denominator. So, 2 times 1, we have 2. Then, the imaginary 1, yung denominator niya. 1 times 2, we have also 2. Then, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. No need to write 1 here. Kasi alam na natin na meron siyang imaginary 1 sa unahan. Then, 2 times 3x, we have 6x. Next, 2 times 4, that is 8. Then, 2 times 0, we have 0. This is now the standard form. Ah, this is now the quadratic equation. We have x squared plus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Wala na siyang fraction. Next, number 2, a squared equals 9. Naka-standard form na kaya ito? Hindi pa. Kasi dapat, yung right side ng equation is 0. Tama. Dapat to 0. So, uh, para maging 0 to by using subtraction property of equality, subtract both sides by 9. So, we have now a squared minus 9 equals 9 minus 9. Then, we have a squared minus 9, 9 minus 9, 0. So, therefore, we have now the standard form, a squared minus 9 equals 0. Wala lang siyang linear term, pero naka-standard form na ito. Uh, by the way, this is case number 2. 
and then case number 3 Uh, this is case number 2 In case number 2 uh, Yung uh, equation natin Hindi siya naka-equate sa 0 The right side of the equation Is not equal to 0 Kaya ginamitan natin siya Ginamitan natin ng SPE Subtraction property of equality Then for number 3 Case number 3 We have negative 2x squared minus 6x equals 0 So from the standard form Ax squared plus bx equals c Ah ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So, yung a doon is positive. So, gawin natin itong positive. Paano? By multiplying both sides by negative 1 or by negative multiply both sides by negative 1. So, negative 1 times negative 2x squared we have 2x squared. Tignan nyo, naging positive na. Ne? Then, next Negative 1 times negative 6x, we have positive 6x. Then, 0 times negative 1, this is 0. So, the standard form, we have 2x squared plus 6x equals 0. For case number 4, take a look at this uh, equation. So, wala pa tayong uh, nakikita ang uh, term na may exponent na 2 or degree na 2. So, ay, ang gagawin natin, we need to simplify this. So, let us distribute uh, x to x plus 3. Multiply natin by using distributive property. We have x times x. We have x squared. Then, x times 3. We have 3x followed by negative 5x or minus 5x equals 0. Then, meron pa ba tayong isi-simplify dito sa equation? Tama, meron pa. Ito, 3x and 5x. So, we have now x squared, 3x minus 5x. The answer is 2x. Then, equals 0. The standard form of this equation is this. x squared minus 2x equals 0.